You shouldn't ignore this small piece of plastic. Because I did for years. But from the start. If you own a 500, 2000 or even a $5000 camera, then you should probably protect your gear and take care of it, because replacing your camera can be quite expensive. And if you own a newer model, like a mirrorless camera, then chances are that your equipment is actually water resistant. But it's not the same as waterproof, so please just don't let your camera fall into water, like a pool or a lake. Water resistant on the other hand means that your camera is protected against small amounts of water and maybe dust. And in combination with this Tamron 70-200, which has a weather coating and seal to prevent water to get inside the lens or the camera, you have a pretty decent protection against water, dust and the weather in general. But there's one spot which doesn't have any protection at all. What I mean are those contacts. That's your hot shoe which connects your camera to your speed light or maybe other accessories. Those contacts provide essential information from the camera to your speed light like focus distance, brightness and most importantly when the flash should be triggered because this process should be perfectly timed. So what happens if you take out your speed light because me as a professional I left this area unprotected for years. And then I realized, wait, this is a 5000 euro worth of a camera. Those metal contacts shouldn't get wet, right? That was also the point where I started to use this small little plastic cover, which should come with your camera, by the way. Because this little piece of plastic is meant to be used on top of the hot shoe. It is literally a cover for those very essential and exposed metal contacts. But since those are very small, it's easy to lose them, so better have some spare ones laying around. And trust me, this is much cheaper than replacing your hot shoe or your whole camera. You can find them on Amazon for just a few bucks. So don't be like me and use protection. <laughs>